<laughs> hey, here we are at the Dollar Tree. Let's pop inside and see what we can find on the cheap for our crafting. Come on, follow your damn Scotty. Let's go, come on, come on. Yeah, come on. Don't be shy, come on, come on. The first find are these crafting scissors and they're for details. They're smaller set of scissors. They're fairly nice um, for the $1.25 that you'll pay for them at the Dollar Tree. So it's nice to have a small pair of scissors like this for details. Our next find is this craft picker. <laughs> okay, this seems weird. It's a handle basically with a cur large curved needle. And uh, believe it or not, these are great for uh, poking holes in your craft so you can stick stuff in there. Like, <laughs> don't take that the wrong way, all right? So like branches or tentacles or any kind of details you want to add to a craft um, after you have the main body of the craft done. But I like these little finger holds that keep it secure when you're pushing into the craft. And it's nice and solid metal there. Our next find is one of those roller cutters and I wasn't too excited about this because I was like, well, you know, it's a Dollar Tree. It's, you know, it probably won't work. We'll try it. But I was pleasantly surprised when it cut the backing of a pad, a notepad that I had. So it works really well and uh, cool. This has, can have a lot of uses in your craft room. And here is a makeup brush I picked up. Now, I'm not going to start putting makeup on. I'm, well, I might at my age, all right? But these are great because the bristles are so small and they're perfect for dry brushing, right? But the problem with most of these brushes is that they're so expensive. I also like it has these finger holds that keep it secure in your hand. Here is just a smaller version of the makeup brush. And this would be good for painting miniatures. It'd be much better for painting miniatures than the other one. The other one would be more for terrain. This one would be for miniatures. And yeah, it's just $1.25, so super cheap compared to what you'd pay for a normal makeup brush. This interesting tool is a mask applicator, which, you know, would be used to put uh, different kinds of goos on your face, right? Spread them out. <laughs> but it'd be good for us to spread out our goo uh, all over our terrain and uh, craft products. So yeah, this is a great little find. You guys know how I love my plastic plants for crafting and wow, look at this witch hazel. This is so cool. I love this. You can just pull these right off the stem and you've got like instant tentacles. You can have them coming out of pits or add them to monsters. So wow, so awesome. You can trim them, um, cut them up, use them for other things. This is a great find. You can even, they even have other colors. So that's really, really neat too. You wouldn't even have to paint them if you didn't want to. The next flower are these blooming branches. And what I love about these is you can just take the flowers off and you can actually use the flower parts for other things. But the branches are great for trees, right? I love flexible branches on trees. So when players bump into them, they don't knock them over. And these give you quite a few that you can use on your trees. Now, if you guys remember, a while back I told you about these Final Faction action figures, right? They had great bits to use for crafting, as well as the miniatures themselves. But this time, they have more bits. So let's hit our table and check them out. Yeah! Now, you guys know how much I love this Final Faction stuff, and they have new kits. So, so cool. Let's check out the bits that are in these kits. So we got this weird kind of gun, which is really neat. This tendril or tentacle or vine. Uh, very cool. These little bits can be used for great greebles. These wings. I oh, just love this stuff. Great for crafting. And here we have more cool alien stuff, right? We got this weird weapon that can be used for so many things. Really cool. This backpack could be its own creature or used to some detail. Nice. And this shield could also be its own creature or some cool alien detail. And here we go with another alien kit. Just great stuff. I love it. First thing here is this giant hammer. This could be used for like a Titan or a God hammer or something, an artifact. Here's another cool backpack. Could be its own creature or some detail. And this is another one that just looks like a cool creature. Um, just great stuff. Love them. Then we move into the human faction stuff, which is more just kind of sci-fi looking bits or greebles, right? So these, so many things you could just use for different stuff. Some kind of turbo thing. Nice. Just nice. Uh, missile pack. And these little bits come with it to connect, and those could be used for great greebles. More human faction tech stuff, and this just has a lot of great bits in it. I just love this kit. Look at all this stuff. These are the arms, uh, weapon, uh, you know, just a backpack, 
uh, another arm. You could connect those to the backpack. Uh, robot hands. Just all these great weapons and bits and hands and oh, I'm just I love this stuff. So great greebles uh, for your sci-fi builds. Something's coming. In an epic collaboration with Runehammer and DM Scotty comes EZD6, the fast-moving game of fantasy mayhem. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me on this shopping trip. I hope you found some stuff you can use. And don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. And uh, make sure to join me next time on the DM's Craft. And don't forget, go forth and craft. See you next time, everybody.